Nadine Sandoz, Co-Director of Master of Arts of Rural Ministry. The approaching holiday season calls us to return to the wonderful accounts of Jesus' birth. Luke presented in the dynamic nativity narrative the power of the Holy Spirit inspiring declaration or prophetic witness. Luke used many literary techniques to teach his points. He launched his two volumes demonstrating the importance of the Spirit's work. Each participant demonstrated main themes that he expanded and developed throughout the books. He described Luke's work in young and old, men and women at diverse levels of social status. Luke correlated the beginning of the chapter of Luke with Peter's sermon that included Joel's prophecy and Acts. I will put out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And my maid servants and on my ma men servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy. This defining quotation concluded with salvation for all people and whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Luke provided examples of his defining themes within the narrative of Jesus' birth. Let's look at his first example, Zacharias, an old man who sees a vision. His lineage and elite priestly line caused him to serve in the temple, this day burning incense. Because of Zacharias's unbelief at the possibility of having a son, he could not speak until he fulfilled all the angel Gabriel prophesied to him. When Zacharias could speak again, he immediately prophesied when filled with the Holy Spirit. The immediately theme continues throughout Luke and Acts, used 18 times in each book. In Zacharias's prophecy, he explained that God speaks by the mouth of the holy prophets since the world began. This launched one of Luke's main themes of spirit-inspired prophecy. Zacharias' prophecy initiated the New Testament terminology of remission of sins and the theme of opening the eyes and turning from darkness to light cited by Paul at the end of Acts. The young, John the Baptist and Mary, and old, Zacharias, Elizabeth, Simeon, and Anna declared Jesus. Luke included men, Zacharias, John, and the shepherds, and women, shepherd, uh, Elizabeth, Mary, and Anna, as part of his plan to declare his works. Each of the rest of these people in the narrative presented other essential parts of Luke's themes demonstrated in Luke Acts. What will we do in response to this delightful picture of men and women, young and old, from every level of church and culture, hearing and declaring the works of God in the power of the Spirit? This episode encourages everyone to declare a Spirit-powered witness at Christmas and throughout the whole year. Like those in Luke's account, have a wonderful holiday season, declaring Jesus to everyone you meet, so not to become mute by unbelief.